Welcome, friends. It's so good to see you. It's almost time for worship. Did you know that worship is one big way we can show Jesus how much we love him by singing songs about how awesomely amazing he is? That's because Jesus loves us, and we can love others too. That's what we're learning about this month. So when you hear me say, who can love like Jesus, I want you to say, I can love like Jesus. Are you ready? Let's try it. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, you can. Now we have a brand new worship song this month. So look over here at my TV and let's learn it together. Stand up and show Jesus just how much we love him. Here we go. Jesus is helping me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I believe His light can shine through me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. Great job! That was so much fun! Jesus can help you and me be good, good friends. In fact, that's what our new memory verse is all about. I'm going to say it for you one time, and then we'll watch the video and learn all the motions together. Are you ready? Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Isn't that a great verse? Now let's watch the video so we can all learn the motions together. Watch this. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Hi kids. This morning, Miss Maddie and I are going to make glow jars. And this is something you can't do by yourself, but if your mom and dad would help you, you could do this at home. It's very important, though, to wear gloves because we're going to be working with glow sticks. And glow sticks have little tiny pieces of glass in them. And so if you get that liquid on your hands or something, it kind of can hurt. So what we need are glow sticks, a glass jar, and any kind of glitter that we want, some scissors, and of course our gloves. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is open our jars, and then we need to pick our glow stick colors. And I'm gonna pick blue and pink, and I think I need two of each for this small jar. I'm going to do green and yellow, orange, whatever it may be. All right, and the 
First thing we need to do is break and shake our glow sticks so they're all glowy. Break it and then shake it. Ooh, yours are bright. Mm. Ooh, yours are bright. They are in fact green and yellow, not orange. <laughs> there you go. Yes. My white ones turned blue. Okay. Oh, there we go at the end. This one does not break it all the way. Okay, so once you've got them broken up and shaken up, and so they're nice and glowy, then we're going to cut off the ends so we can get the liquid out. Remember, this is the job for mom or dad to help you with. I like to cut it so the end falls in the lid of my jar so it's kind of out of the way and not flying everywhere. They have some really good scissors. Okay, and then I put them upside down in my jar. And then one little trick that I've learned, I found it was really hard to get this stuff out unless I cut off the other end. And if I cut off the other end while they're sitting in the jar so I don't spill it anywhere, then it comes out really easily. up on both ends there you can see getting all the liquid out of there and you can do more glow sticks if you wanted to but we're just going to do four each today get as much out as I can all right now set those aside get my tips out of there so I'm going to need that lid all right, now I'm gonna add some glitter and I'm gonna add to mine some of this, I like this white glitter. It's really tiny, fine glitter and I'm gonna add some of the white. I'm gonna do some blue. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in mine too, I think, since I used blue and pink. And maybe I'll do some gold as well. There we go. All right. Then, now I've got my glitter in there. Put my lid back on. And I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to shake it up and try to get the glow and the glitter up around the sides of my jar.
boy, boy. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Manny. My neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue, just surprised me with this. It's a super cool race car. And I can make it go with this remote control. Drivers, start your engines. Can you make a race car sound with me? Vroom, vroom. That's great. Now keep it up. Here we go. And they're off. Look how fast it goes. Wow! That's lap one. Time for a pit stop. Engine's off. You can stop now. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. Oh, wow! My car has real lights. Here we go again. This is so cool. Just look at it go. Ho, ho. Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Racing a car, are you? Yeah, look at the cool lights on my new race car. Those lights sure are fun, it's true. But did you know that you can be a light too? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oh, I got a Bible story for me and you. All right, guys, the race is about to begin. Now, when the light turns green, that means go. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie, and it is so great to see you. My dog Stormy Jane and her friend Goldie are doing races today. Do you like to race? I do too. Do you know when you're in a race or in a car what the green light means? Yes, a green light means go. But what if it changes from a green light to a red light? What does that mean? Oh, 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 oh stop! <laughs> well, yeah, the red light means stop. Great race, you guys. Here's a treat. <laughs> Jesus told a story about how we can be like a green light. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> oh, you guys do too? Well, okay. Here comes the story. So the true story about Jesus begins with him talking to a huge group of people. Jesus told them he wanted them to go out and love people so that they would know God and praise him. And Jesus really wanted them to understand, so he gave them a picture of a light. Do you know what this is? A light bulb, that's right. And what does a light bulb do? It shines. Look at that, wow. Well, Jesus said that when we love others, it's like we are a shining light that shows everyone God loves you. He really loves you. We can love others by helping them, by sharing, and by saying kind words. When we don't love others, it's like we're covering up our light. Wait, where'd the light go? Everyone say, no, don't cover it up. Ready? No, don't cover it up. Jesus said, let your light shine. <gasps> and we don't have to wait to let our light shine, do we? We can love like Jesus and we can start now, look everybody, we got the green light. Okay, start your engines. We can go, go, go and be a light and love like Jesus. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. All right, I'm going to go love others. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. When we love like Jesus, we can all be lights. Me and you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, how cool is that? 
when we love like Jesus, we can shine like a bright light to everybody around us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, get it? Got it! Good! I can't wait until my friends get here. I'm gonna share my car with them so that I can be a light too. Everybody, start your engines. Wow, what a great story. There are lots of ways we can show love to others like Jesus loves us. And as you can see, I have put the glow jars that Maddie and I made right over here on my shelf to help remind me that I can be a light and shine like Jesus. Could we share our toys to shine a light? Absolutely. Could we help our mom or dad to shine a light and love others like Jesus? You bet. Could we use kind words to shine a light and love others like Jesus? Of course. So remember, when I ask, who can love like Jesus? I want you to say, I can love like Jesus. Are you ready? Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's right, friends. Now let's ask God to help us shine bright this week. God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. Help us to shine our lights bright this week so we can love others like Jesus. We want to help, share, and say kind words every chance we get. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. hi -ya! That's it for today, kids. We'll see you next week. Bye.